Well, hey everybody, this is Robert and welcome to Outbreak News TV. And today we're gonna to go ahead and do a worms and germs educational video. And today's topic is going to be Dengue 101. Now, dengue fever is an illness spread by the bite of mosquitoes infected with one of the four types of dengue viruses. That's dengue virus one through four, two, three, four. Symptoms are usually flu-like, but can worsen to severe dengue or dengue hemorrhagic fever, a life-threatening condition. Because there are at least four versions or strains of the dengue virus, you can get dengue more than once. You'll usually become immune to the first strain when you get sick, and you won't, be, you won't get it again. But you can get sick with one of the other three strains after that. In fact, you're more likely to get severely sick if you get dengue more than once. How common is dengue? Well, dengue was first emerged as a worldwide problem in the 1960s. The incidence of dengue has grown dramatically around the world in recent decades, with cases reported to the World Health Organization increasing from 505,000 cases in 2000 to over 5 million in 2019. Today, up to 400 million people get infected with dengue each year. Approximately 100 million people get sick from the infection and 40,000 people die from severe dengue. Geography. Almost half of the world's population or about 4 billion people live in areas with a risk of dengue. Dengue is most commonly found in Central and South America, Africa, parts of Asia, and the Pacific Islands. But the disease has been spreading to new areas, including local outbreaks in Europe and southern parts of the United States. Transmission. Dengue isn't contagious directly from one person to another like, like the flu. Transmission is via the mosquito. Only a few mosquito species are vectors for the dengue virus. A vector is a vehicle that carries and transmits a disease uh, to its host organism. The dengue virus is spread through human to mosquito to human cycle of transmission. The dengue virus is carried and spread by female mosquitoes. Female mosquitoes require blood to produce eggs, so they bite humans. In the genus Aedes, which includes a number of mosquito species. Of these species, the primary vector for dengue virus is the species Aedes aegypti. It is the principal dengue vector responsible for dengue transmission and dengue epidemics. Other mosquito species in the genus Aedes, including Aedes albopictus, have the ability to serve as dengue vectors also. These are the same types of mosquitoes that spread Zika virus and chikungunya viruses. Once infected with dengue, the mosquito will remain infected with the virus for its entire life. Infected mosquitoes can continue to transmit the dengue virus to healthy people for the rest of their lifespans, generally about three to four weeks. In rare events, dengue can be transmitted during organ transplants, blood transfusions, and from infected donors. There is also evidence that an infected pregnant mother can transmit the dengue virus to her fetus. Despite these rare events, the majority of dengue infections are transmitted by mosquito bites. Pathology. Most people with dengue fever have mild or no symptoms and will get better in one to two weeks. Rarely dengue can be severe and lead to death. If symptoms occur, they usually begin four to 10 days after infection and last for about two to seven days. And these symptoms include a high fever of about 40 degrees C or 104 degrees Fahrenheit, a severe headache, pain behind the eyes, muscle and joint pains, also known as break bone fever, nausea, vomiting, swollen glands, and a rash. Individuals who are infected for the second time are at a greater risk of severe dengue. Severe dengue happens when the blood vessels become damaged and leaky, 
and the number of clot forming cells known as platelets in your bloodstream drops. This can lead to shock, internal bleeding, organ failure, and even death. Warning signs of severe dengue fever, which is a life-threatening emergency, can develop very quickly. The warning signs usually begin a day or two after your fever goes away and may include severe abdominal pain, persistent vomiting, rapid breathing, bleeding gums or nose, fatigue, restlessness, blood in the vomit or stool, being very thirsty, pale and cold skin, and feeling weak. Diagnosis. A blood test is the only way to confirm the diagnosis of dengue fever. And this can also identify which of the four versions you may have. Treatment. There are no specific medicines that treat dengue fever. You can manage keeping yourself hydrated by drinking plenty of water and fluids, getting as much rest as possible, treating pain with acetaminophen like Tylenol only. Do not take ibuprofen like Advil or aspirin. This can increase your risk of life-threatening life internal bleeding. Prevention. The best way to reduce your risk of dengue fever is to protect yourself from mosquito bites. Use an EPA registered insect repellent uh, that contain 20 to 30% DEET or other ingredients known to help keep Aedes mosquitoes away. Cover exposed skin outdoors, especially at night when mosquitoes are more likely to be around. Remove standing water, buckets or barrels, bird baths, old tires, anything that may be holding rainwater, and fill low spots where water can pool. Keep mosquitoes outside of your home by repairing holes and screens and keeping windows and doors closed if possible. Use mosquito netting at night in areas where dengue is common. If you're pregnant, avoid traveling to areas where dengue is common if possible. When used as directed, EPA-registered insect repellents are proven safe and effective, even for pregnant and breastfeeding women. Treat clothing and gear. Take steps to control mosquitoes indoors and outdoors. Use screens on windows and doors. Repair holes and screens to keep the mosquitoes outdoors. Use air conditioning if available. Stop mosquitoes from laying their eggs in or near water. Once a week, empty and scrub, turn over, cover, or throw out items that hold water, like buckets and like tires, as in the photographs. Check for water holding containers, both indoors and outdoors. Also part of prevention, vaccines. One type of vaccine available in the United States is the Den 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 Dengvexia vaccine by Sanofi Pasteur. This became available starting in 2022 for use in children 9 through 16 years old with laboratory confirmed evidence of a previous dengue infection and living in areas where dengue is common. Uh, dengue endemic areas include the U.S. territories of American Samoa, Puerto Rico, the U.S. Virgin Islands, uh, Micronesia, the Marshall Islands, and Palau. It is currently approved for use in the U.S., um, EU, and some Asian and Latin American countries. And then there is Qdenga by Takeda Pharmaceuticals, that, which has received approval, approval for use in the European Union in 2022 for people four years and up. It is also approved in the U.K., Brazil, Argentina, Indonesia, and Thailand. And that is a little education on dengue fever. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends, like the video, and comment below. And I'll see you next time on Outbreak News TV.